Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we have a home bargains haul. Um, I'm not gonna lie, because I've not been for such a long time, I have bought quite a lot of stuff this time round. Um, I've not f shared a home bargains haul with you for quite some time, but it's something that I'm gonna I'm gonna be bringing back to the channel. Um, I think lockdown and everything, I know it seems like years ago, that sent me all out of whack and I haven't really got back to doing my normal routine yet and I know most people have but I still sort of try not to go out unless I absolutely have to. So um, I've decided obviously recently that I, I can't continue like living like that. I really do need to get my life back. So. I'm going to do that, but in a, the most safe way possible. Um, masks, sanitizer, everything else. Um, so yeah, I am going to dive in and show you what I've got today. Before I do that though, there is some products that I wanted to share with you first. Um, so these are from a company called Fragrance World. And what Fragrance World is, it's a way of trying designer um inspired i'll use the word inspired perfumes but obviously not at the price of a designer perfume so you get it a heck of a lot cheaper um i got to pick two different scents and the ones i went for were dark opium which is pretty much a dupe for black opium and i have black opium it's not to hand it's all the way over there but I'm pretty sure it's a really good dupe. I did try it and compare it. And they're not identical in my personal opinion, but I'm not a connoisseur of perfume. But they definitely are very, very similar. These are eau de parfum as well, which means that they are um, longer lasting than a eau de toilette. So yeah, these are a lot more, as I say, a lot more reasonable than their designer counterparts. Look at the little cute bag of coming as well. So that was the dark opium. And yeah, it is absolutely delicious. I wouldn't say it was identical, but if you like if you like the black opium, you'll like the dark opium. And then the other one I picked up, um, this one's in a bag as well, is Millionaire, which I presume is Lady Million. And to be honest, I've never, I've never smelt Lady Million. So I'm just now going off what I like. I'm not sure. We'll <laughs> let that one sit for a bit because I'm not sure. Now it's worn off um, the initial scent that you get. That is gorgeous, really fresh, a lovely light scent. So I'd say that to me would be definitely something that I'd wear during the day, something that I'd wear for work, going shopping, things like that. And the dark opium, oh, what's it? Yeah, it's called dark opium. Um, that one I probably would wear on a night out, um, but I'd also wear it equally, probably not to work. I think it's a bit, a bit too forceful for work. <laughs> I would probably wear it like um, going for a coffee with a friend, you know, going for like drinks, not necessarily alcoholic drinks, just drinks in general or a meal or something like that. So yeah, they are both lovely. Both really, really nice. And as I say, they are eau de parfum, so they do last that little bit longer than eau de toilette. So yeah, if you do want to check out this brand, as I say, these were gifted to me. Um, but I've not obviously been paid to promote them or anything. Um, if you do want to check them out, I'll leave all the details down in the description. So we're just going to dive straight on into the haul now. And I will show you this one bag. I've got more than one. I've got three. Um, but this is the big one. And it is really heavy. So I'm going to put it down quick. The reason I've got so much stuff is not because I've been buying loads of stuff that we don't need we generally speak and do our like normal weekly shop at Aldi but then I use home bargains to get the extras and like the cleaning products the like snacks and things because Aldi have a very limited 
brand name selection. Um, so yeah, I'll show you what we've got. Some of it's food, some of it's cleaning products, some of it's home stuff. And I did get quite a bit for birthdays and things like that, but I'll probably not show those bits because I don't want to spoil it. Um, but yeah, let's crack on in. So, not the most exciting thing in the world, but I did pick up a couple of boxes of cereal. Now, I haven't had cereal in, I want to say, 10 years. It probably has been that long. So, I got, I treated myself to some original Special K. I've like totally trashed the box, but it's fine. And red berries. Um, I just thought that because I'm, I've been working from home for a very long time, and I'm still working from home. I just thought that something like cereal might be a good thing to have for lunch. I know it's not, but when there's nothing in, <laughs> it's better than like doing what I would do, which would be either crisps or a takeaway. So <laughs> at least it's something that's. A bit better than a takeaway. So yeah, I got some cereal. I now need to find some... I don't have a cereal canister because we don't eat cereal. So that, that'll that probably be for another haul. Something to actually put the cereal in. Next up, we got I got a couple of um, boxes of these. These are the Cars Table Water Biscuits. I am a snob when it comes to water biscuits. I love the Cars water biscuits. I find a lot of the own brands are high bake, which means they're like darker. And to me, it tastes burnt. These are always like lightly toasted. If you can't tell, I'm the person that likes the toast to be white. Um, I literally put it in long enough for it to be stiff on the outside, fluffy in the middle, and not even slightly um, coloured by the toaster. Like one minute is fine for me, just so the butter melts. So yeah, I don't like anything that tastes like it's been toasted. I feel like it tastes burnt. I picked up this, and this is a really cool set. This is a limited edition Real Technique set. It's four pieces, so you get a makeup bag, a sponge, and a big powder brush, and a smaller powder brush. I'd probably use this one for setting under the eyes. This was a whopping $2.99. I think it said the RRP was £10, but I could see this costing more than £10. Um, like, if you bought a single sponge from Real Techniques, I think they're like £5.99. So, although maybe the gift set was a deal, so it should have been £10 because it was a, a, you know, like a bargain deal, it individually, that would have been a lot more. I think probably the brushes between them would have been about £15. That would have been £5.99. And then there's the makeup bag. So, yeah, £2.99. You can't grumble at that price. Next, we have a pair of Smugglers by Totes Novelty Footsies. These are just like a slipper sock, but it's just the foot part. They've got a cute um, heart-shaped opening and then just a little bear. And they have the non-slip um, back in. Um, I got these to to wear around the house when I'm desperate and I've got cold feet. I can't actually wear shoes and socks around the house um, just because it affects my mobility. But my feet are very numb and I need to feel the floor. But I thought, it's I, I keep having freezing feet and that doesn't help me either. So I thought these would be better than um, the alternatives which would be socks, which would be slippy, so that's not a good idea, or slippers, which will have a thickish sole, which is not going to help me walk. So this is like the best of a bad situation. At least my feet won't be freezing and I've got to be a bit of grip. Um, I'll see how they go. I think they're only cheap. Um, they say on them the RRP is £8, but I'm pretty sure they were discounted. So I'll cover up my card details, but you can see how <laughs> much stuff I bought. So, the totes, £2.99, so that's not bad at all, is it? And they're really soft. So, even if they don't work, they're only £2.99. It's not the end of the world. Next, because I'm a bit boring and disabled right now, <laughs> I picked up a non-slip bath mat. This is for, like, inside the bath. Our shower is in the bath. We only have the one. So, I need something that will stop me from slipping 
um, just because I'm unsteady. Uh, the one we've got at the minute is the, you know, like the clear kind with like loads of holes and I think they look nicer, but they get really mouldy really quickly and I actually can't sit and clean it like that well because, you know, with all the little bits, it's hard to do and I haven't got that much stamina in me so i thought this would be better although i don't like it as much because obviously there's less holes i just say that it's mildew resistant so if that's true it'll be it'll be a good thing and i do think this was like 2.99 that took me six years to find yeah it is it's 2.99 so not bad not a bad price i picked up some clips these are just like food bag clips i mean i've had quite a lot of these over the years i've been living in this house for like 12 years now so I've had a lot of them, but they get lost. I presume they get thrown away, attached to whatever they, whatever they were used for. Um, so I thought we could do with some more, especially because I've got cereal and nothing to put it in. These would work in the interim to sort of seal it, but obviously I will have other uses for them as well. We sometimes get sharing bags of crisps and then you need to shut them. So yeah, those will be handy. I picked up some go-aheads. These are the Yogurt Breaks Forest Fruits. I just like having something that's not, I mean, it's not healthy. I would never say that this is healthy, but at the same time, it's better than reaching for a Mars bar, isn't it? So 71 calories. I know it's not all about the calories. There'll be a lot of sugar in these, but if I'm going to eat something naughty i may as well eat one of these as eat a chocolate bar so picked up a couple of boxes of those just for when i feel like snacking but then just to um go the opposite way <laughs> i picked up some four finger kit cats these are um it's a four pack of four fingers i like to put these in the fridge and then eat them um when i fancy one and i got two packets and these will literally last me months because i forget they're there because they're in the fridge which is ideal because it means they last forever and i don't eat loads of them and make myself ill we have literally just hit all the all the snacks please bear in mind this is gonna this is probably gonna be enough for, to last a long you know a couple of months i don't like buy this amount of junk every week um <laughs> i'm just a bit embarrassed uh, next we've got i saw these these are these must be brand new because i've never seen these in previous years and i mean my favorite my favorite chocolate is dairy milk this is cadbury so i'm hoping it's going to be dairy milk cadbury chocolate and it's got mini eggs in it and yeah i love a mini egg so we will give those a try and then obviously i had to do it we had to get some mini eggs as well even though it's ju it's january um I literally will eat a couple of packets now because they've just come out. Then I probably won't have any for about two months and then I'll have another couple of packets and then I'll have probably another couple around Easter time and then I won't have them again. So six packets a year. It's not a bad thing, is it? And then I've got some of these. These are gorgeous. I love these ballistics. And again, these last I've got two packets and these will last me ages because I don't eat them all at once. Crisp wise, I've got these for my lovely husband to try. These are um turkey and stuffing. I don't think I noticed there was stuffing in them. I, I don't know whether I like them, but it can give them a try. And then I got myself some pom bears. We might be done with the food finally. I picked up these because they were really cheap. Um I Oh, I know it's weird and you're not meant to have two, but I always get two. So they're just like oven gloves. These are friends ones. I didn't get them. I love friends, but I'm not the one that does the most of the cooking. So I wouldn't necessarily pick something that I like. I'd just pick the cheapest ones I could find. And these were $1.99 each, which is really, really cheap for an oven glove. We go through about two pairs of oven gloves a year. Um, because they get burnt and things and they get like food stains on them and that doesn't come out in the wash and things like that so yeah it's time for some fresh ones and I, I actually do really like the colours of these um, I don't think I would have purposely gone out and got a friends one even though I love friends merch in general got a big thing of honey we don't really use honey um, unless it's to drink when we're poorly um, me and Paul both had COVID over Christmas. Um, we were isolating over Christmas, which was 
Um, it was all right. It wasn't it wasn't the best thing in the world, but it wasn't too bad. We managed to get online shopping, um, so we at least had a Christmas dinner. Um, but yeah, we used a whole thing of honey because we both had really bad throats. So I thought I'd pick some more up just so that we've got it in the cupboard. And I did check the date on it because I'm not even sure we'll use it anytime soon. But it's 2023. Um, so July 2023. So it's over 12 months. I'm sure we'll have some sort of illness before then. So we've got some honey for honey and lemon. We've still got some lemon, but we ran out of honey. I pick. I always pick these up in every haul um, and I pick them up every time I go to any discount shop because you can only buy two at once. Um, these are just liquid ibuprofen. These are like the generic brand and they're only a pound each. Now I know the normal ibuprofen are cheaper but the liquid capsules work so much better um, for me and my condition and particularly I do have chronic migraines and these work fast enough that when I get my warning signs so I'll get um disturbed vision etc if I take these uh, as long as it's not like a quick migraine that kicks in in less than half an hour they actually stop me getting the headache at all because they kick in fast Whereas I find with the regular ones, that doesn't happen. They're not quite as fast to kick in. So yeah, I definitely think these are worth the investment compared to the 20 or 30p ones. What I would say is never assume that like Nurofen are better. They're just the same. It's the, you know, it, you look, want to look at the drug that's in them and also how it performs. So this is like a liquid or whether it's a powder, whether it's a hard tablet or whether it's um, a capsule. Capsules are generally quicker than a tablet, I think, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But yeah, that is the first bag down. We have two more to go. Bag number two, I didn't really organize them that well. I just tried to keep my bleach away from my food. So I think this is mainly cleaning, but it might also be beauty products and things like that. Cause I wasn't too fussed. I just don't like my bleach in the same bag as my food in case it spills. Um, so first up, I got a set of three brushes. These were like a quid or 99p and they're just the Colgate Extra Clean. Um, I don't think I've got any on backup. So I had a quick look while I was in there to see if they did have the, the cheap three packs and they did. So I just picked one up. Um, I'm terrible at changing my toothbrushes. So it's good to always have backup so that you remember to do it. I got a scrubbing brush just obviously for cleaning. That was really cheap. I think that was like 59p or something like that, or 69p. This, um, I can't remember. Somebody was talking about this on um, YouTube. I can't think who it was, um, but I thought I've got to give it a try. I was looking at some home bargain hauls before I went shopping to see if there was anything that I, I couldn't miss. And this sounded really, really interesting to me. So it's the Blue Foam Aroma. It is a lime scale removing product. It makes it, it foams up. You put it in the toilet bowl and it foams up and it's supposed to help remove the lime scale because it fills the bowl with foam. Um, I really need to sort out my lime scale. So yeah, I thought we'd give this one a try. And I picked it in Rose and Apple Blossom scent. They were all different scents, but I just fancied that one. I picked up some wipes. I don't use these for um, my face. I use them for if I've been filming and I've got swatches on my hands, I use them to wipe that off. I use them for sanitising products before I actually properly sanitise them. You know, just to, just to give them a wipe over before I use some sanitising spray. So yeah, um, I always like to have a few wipes on back up. If you've not heard of these, these are the best pin bags in the world. You get 10 and I think they're quite expensive. I think they're like £1.29 for 10. And I've been using these for, I want to say, 10 years. And I've been getting them from Home Bargains all that time. Occasionally it's out, they're out of stock and I have a meltdown and I buy some different bags. And I hate other bags. These have the the yellow ties, but they're also thick, so they don't rip. I have two guinea pigs um, who live together, and then I have a rabbit as well. And 
there's you don't know you don't know um bin bag rip trauma until you've got um animals with hay sawdust poos dirty dirty sawdust and hay and poos in a bag and then the bag rips and it it goes everywhere i, I have on occasion um taken it to the tip and he's ripped in my car and you don't want all that muck in your car so yeah these are amazing if your pet peeve is that your bags rip try these out a little bit pricey but worth it again i'm just being an adult today <laughs> we got some of these i just needed some more bulbs for my um kitchen light one of them went so i picked some new bulbs up we have my favorite deodorant i don't like to get this in a supermarket because it's too expensive it's much cheaper at home bargains Mitchum is honestly the best that I've ever used. I I was I used to struggle when I was like a teen and then I grew out of it. But lately with all the medication that I take, I really do need something that's got some extra power behind it to keep my keep me dry. And I I do love these. These work so well, so much better than um, anything else that that's claiming to be you know forty eight hour, seventy two hour protection. This really is. It's really really good. We have some toilet duck. This one is mandarin and orange blossom blossom peach. I would sniff it, but I'm not gonna because I don't know what. I'll be sniffing up, probably bleach, so it's probably not a good idea, but I'll bet it'll smell nice in the bathroom. I'm not actually going to sniff it. <laughs> I did get some bleach as well, but I think I put that in a, se a section in my boot so that it didn't fall over and ruin my boot. So I think that's probably still in my boot, which is a little bit annoying. I had to pick this up. I just couldn't not. Um... It is shortbread biscuits, but I didn't really care about that part. I cared about the actual aesthetic of this tin. I actually have a tin in my living room that is... I can't remember where I got it from or what it had in it. It might have been empty. It might have just been a tin. And I've got it in my living room, and it's this colour. My living room is this colour. And it's like a this colour Arga. Um... And it just looks so old fashioned and quaint. And me and my husband are very into like the old fashioned aesthetic. And I just think these camper vans are so cute. And yeah, I couldn't not pick that up. And I want to say this was like $3.99. It was actually only $2.99. Which, yeah, I, I mean, I love shortbread anyway, so I will eat the biscuits. But. I wouldn't have bought shortbread. I bought it for the tin. So, yeah. I will enjoy it, though. And um, the tin is going in the living room because that is my aesthetic in there. In here, it's, like, very pink. In there, it's very turquoise. We are coming to the end of things I can show you because, as I said, I have picked up some gifts and I don't want to show them on here. I don't know. I don't think they'll watch, but just in case the people that I've bought them for watch. Um, but, yeah, I picked these up. These are just microfiber cloths. These were really, really reasonable. I want to say they were £2.50. Yeah, they were two two forty nine, And you get four, and they are really, really big. It's almost like a tea towel size, so they are massive. I bought these because recently um, there was a sale on. Um, if you don't know, this is my beauty room. And... There was a sale on at a cleaning makeup sort of cleaning company. It's called ISO Clean. They do makeup sanitizer. So for sanitizing your actual makeup, sanitizing your brushes, and they do surface cleaner. I'm a pro member because I obviously do makeup. I want to say for a living like this, I don't do it for a living. I do it for YouTube for a hobby, but technically I do. 
and so I get everything half price and then they had a sale on where it was buy one get one free so I was paying half price and getting two so they had surface cleaner for about three pounds something but you would get two for three pounds summer and the massive five uh, milliliter bottles so I just thought I'd get some while I was buying some other bits as well um, so I thought I need some cloths. I have been using wipes and stuff in here, but I don't think that's great. Um, I don't have clients, so I don't have anyone in here, but I still want it to be sanitary for myself. And with me doing my makeup in here and stuff, and the makeup gets everywhere, that makeup's a bit, you know, I don't want it to be germy. One last thing, and then the rest of the things um, are gifts, so I won't show you those. But this is the last thing that I picked up. Now... I had a big version of this. I had a bigger tray and I loved it for Instagram photos because I do a lot of, um, I haven't for a while, but I used to do a lot of flat lays, um, like beauty products, product photos. And I loved the other tray I had, but it was bigger. And because it was big, I had nowhere to put it and I put it down, like leaning up against something and then without realizing it, I knocked it over and stood on it. So, yeah, long story short, it broke. So I thought, we'll pick up a small one because this will actually fit somewhere. I can put it on the side somewhere and it'll look nice and it'll not, I'm not gonna put it there, I'm just putting it there for somewhere to put it. But yeah, I could put some products on it, it would look cute and then I'm not gonna break it and I can fish it out when I need it, so yeah. That was the reason for that and I do think it's cute and I do think this is a lovely thing to have in a beauty room or in a bathroom on your dressing table and it was £4.99 I think. That is everything that I picked up except for the bits that are secret. <laughs> if you did enjoy this video please do give me a, a big thumbs up, it really helps my channel out. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed and give this video a thumbs up. I am going to be doing my 4,000 4, subscriber giveaway really, really soon. I am just finalising the bits and pieces. I've got two prizes down. I just want to get one more prize organised so that there can be three winners because obviously 4K is a big one. And then I will be drawing it. So make sure you're subscribed and you've got that bell on if you want to enter. It will be generally beauty products. Um... So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in a video again soon. Bye.